Marcel here. Welcome back to our home bake. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make this puff pastry called Uta. Now, if you are in the United States or all over abroad, you usually call this palmier. It all depends how you design the puff dough. This is requested by V Juje Dilly Vibes. So I hope she's watching right now. Mmm. Smells so good. If you're new to my channel, please kindly subscribe and like and share so you can always come back to this channel and get all the recipe you want. Alright guys, so let's begin. A very, very simple mixture. All you need is butter, salt, cold water, and all-purpose flour. So I'm going to show you the steps how to make this puff pastry. It's a lot of taking in and out, in and out of the fridge because you need this puff pastry to be cold. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, I am using all-purpose flour. So one cup of all-purpose flour. I'm going to make, let's see, one and a half cup. Here I have one cup of butter, a little shortening, and uh, one half teaspoon salt. One half cup salt, along with cold water. So you don't wanna to put too much cold water. About one cup of cold water. One half of the shortening. So mix all this together. All right, so we're gonna place the dough. Get a rolling pin. There are so many ways how you can make this puff pastry, but I'm showing you my own way, the shortcut. So you mix everything together. Just mix this butter. Alright guys, so are you following? What to do is just um, hold it. Press down. So what you're trying to do here is spreading the butter. So if you're if you're gonna try to make this, have your butter room temperature so you can spread it easily. Bring for more flour. So, by the way, this is requested by one of my subscriber, Jiju Jet Daily Vibes. Shout out! So, this is for you. The last time I was doing live, she had asked me if I can make uta, and we call that in the United States puff pastry, but. It's the same pastry. So, all right, guys. So after that, what you need to do is fold. As you see, the butter is spreading. You see all the butter. And I am going to put this in the freezer. Put this in the freezer to make it. Faster. So to make the process faster. 
in your Ziploc or anything like that. So, so our dough is in the freezer right now. This other one half cup, I'm going to divide this in half. And this is what we're gonna do. Get your rolling pin. Uh, this is the reason why you want your butter to be room temperature so you can easily spread it. Yeah, there are, like I said, guys, there are so many ways how to make this puff pastry, but I'm just showing you a shortcut way. So, like I said, guys, that was 10 minutes. I know for some other people, they would want to do it like uh, 30 minutes or 45 minutes or one hour, but I'm showing you the quickest way. All right. So the next thing I'm going to add is the butter, cold butter. You know, this work is crazy, but guys, it is very rewarding. The total butter that I'm using is one so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold again, fold, there. We want to incorporate the butter with the dough. Nice and cold. Beautiful. All right, so what I'm going to do now, guys, I'm going to put this in the freezer now for half hour. All right, guys, so I'll see you in half hour. All right, so it's been half hour and now it's kneading time again see you see this one guys make sure you make sure leave this in the freezer for about half hour if you want longer you can too flour not too much guys not too much just a little bit of flour so make sure you want to use cold butter well, for me guys, I use room temperature so I can spread the butter easily. But for you to make this pastry, you have to keep on putting in the refrigerator. Because you want that cold butter. That's what creates the flakiness. All right, guys, just like that. It's like making a cinnamon roll, but this is a puff pastry.
to to the sugar, the white sugar. But if you want to be creative, you can add cinnamon. So here I have a little bit of cinnamon. one and just just like that you take this dip it in the sugar look how beautiful this is dip the rolling pin roll it back and forth sugar you can do it plain sugar it's up to you it's time to bake isn't that beautiful I just want to make a correction I think all the bakers and all the cooks sometimes they say things that are like wait a minute did I just say that so anyway put your so anyway guys if you're in the United States put the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit not Celsius all right but if you're in the Philippines or abroad that is about 200 degrees Celsius so and bake this for about 20 minutes and take it out flip it over and bake it for another five minutes so now it is time all right guys check this out isn't that lovely we're gonna flip it over this is beautiful look at that We are going to flip it over. You see that nice, beautiful caramelized? There you go. So flipping this over. Time to put this back in the oven for five more minutes. Pastry cookies done. Looking so beautiful. Wow, this is amazing. Awesome. Yeah. All right, guys, so it is tasting time. This cookie has been cooling for about 15 minutes. And uh, I can't wait. It looks so good. And I am hungry that's right how beautiful this is that's beautiful isn't it that's right guys <laughs> you hear that all right so uh you hear that beautiful look at the flakiness you can make it like I said this is requested by B. Jujet Dilivai look at his channel he's a Filipino blogger who lives in the Philippines look at that amazing mm. you 
hear the sound? That is the sound that you're looking for, guys. Alright, guys, that is the sound that you're looking for. Mm, very good. With the cinnamon combined with the sugar, it brings it, it bring a better taste than just using a regular sugar. Amazing cookie. Well, um, that's it for today. I hope you learned something new. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next vlog. Bye, guys. This is... Mm.